When it comes to housing affordability, Dunedin features in the top five unaffordable cities in the country. Green Party co-leader Matiri Ature says all New Zealanders should have a warm, safe, stable and healthy home. The Greens Home for Life package delivers meaningful changes that will move more Kiwis into affordable homes and provide better housing for those who rent. Presbyterian Support CEO Gillian Bremner says with home ownership on a downward trend, this would be a good use of government support. It is a struggle uh, to be able to afford for that and so this model that uh, the Greens are promoting um, actually removes the barriers uh, by and large in terms of uh, a deposit and also means that, that they can actually pay an affordable Mortgage. The proposed progressive home ownership scheme would see the Crown buying houses which families could gradually pay off. The Greens say it could cost families $100 a week less than a mortgage and could be paid off in 25 years. Buyers wouldn't need a deposit which is often a barrier to home ownership. When you think about how much money is actually spent on an accommodation supplement for um, low-income renters. Um, I think back in 07, 08, that sat at about $900 million that was spent per annum on the accommodation supplement. Wouldn't we be better to put that investment into housing, permanent housing for, for people? The scheme would require borrowing, but the Greens say it would be borrowing in order to create an asset. Bremner says buying a home is a big deal for people. It means committing to living and finding employment in their chosen community. But if those families choose to rent a home, support needs to be given to them too. When we look at the clients that come to Presbyterian Support for assistance, many of them are paying upwards of 50% of their income on rent. Now that's just not sustainable. It means that they end up with like $20 to, to, to buy for their week's food. Um, and that's, that's just not um, taking them anywhere. The Service and Food Workers Union has strongly backed the initiatives. So too has Labor's housing spokesperson, Annette King. Now all that remains is to see if the Greens can turn big ideas into legislation. D. Karen. Nine Local News.